What's up guys, Jake Lowry here, and today we have a competition going on. I have Gracie right here, she's gonna be my competition, and then we have Tony who's just here to hang out. The rules to the challenge are gonna be pretty simple. Gracie is gonna pick three lures for me to use and three lures for her to use, and whoever catches more fish on those three lures wins. Little bit of a mix up though, is once you catch a fish on one of your lures, you have to switch to another lure, and you have to rotate through all three lures before you can go back to the first lure. How do you feel about the rules, Gracie? Do you have anything to add? I think they're fair and square, but what about a punishment? Oh, you want to do a loser? punishment? Yeah. What do you think the punishment should be? Mm. I think the punishment should be the loser eats a raw habanero pepper. What do you think? <laughs> I don't like that. Okay, that's going to be our punishment because that motivates Gracie more to catch fish. <laughs> All right, so are you ready to pick the lures? Yes. All right, guys, so I got Gracie set up. I gave her a selection of plastics because I have a ton of plastics, and this will just narrow it down to some things that we probably will work. She can choose anything in this box besides the topwater baits because it's the winter and we probably won't catch anything on the topwater baits. You ready, Gracie? Yes. So who are you picking for first? You. I'll give you a little hint. You don't want to choose the same lures for me that you're going to choose for you because you want to give yourself an advantage because you obviously don't want to eat the habanero. Okay. I'm going to give you this one. Okay. Reason being kind of murky in the water and I feel like the fish won't see that. Right? Okay. So interesting strategy, but it looks like a flat sided uh, crankbait is my first bait for the day. This one looks good. Looks used. Gracie's first bait is the lipless crankbait in like a gray and uh, black back pattern. That's a good solid choice for your first choice. All right, now time to pick my second bait. I think I like that one for you. Okay, Gracie gave me a jig, black and blue jig. Can't change the trailer. I have a green pumpkin trailer on okay, it. Okay, this is mine. Okay, and Gracie chose herself a swim jig. So that's actually a really good choice. And I'll be nice and I'll let you use the trailer like you're supposed to. All right, last bait. <laughs> last bait. Let's let's go for a little even Steven round to really see who's the best fisher. Okay, so she's going to pick two of the same baits. Two of the similar baits. All right. I'm going to give my one the one with the sparkles. Okay. You get no sparkles. So two red lipless baits are our last two baits of the challenge. How are you feeling about your selections, Gracie? Confident. You're feeling pretty confident. So Gracie's got two lipless baits, which we know work in this pond, and then a swim jig. That's pretty good. And then I have a square bill, which I have caught a fish in this pond before. A lipless crankbait and then a jig. The jig, I think, is going to be the hardest to catch fish on. Let's get the first bait rigged up and we'll see if we can catch any fish. Gracie's doing a little warm up jumping jacks, but before I rig up, I'm going to put this bio spawn swim bait on the back of her swim jig. That way, she's not throwing a swim jig without a, a trailer. All right, guys, so we picked out our first baits to use. I have the red lipless crankbait and Gracie has the silver and black back lipless crankbait. So we're going to cast those out at Lake Tahas which is a lake I fish a lot, but I thought it would be very fitting for a challenge with Gracie because she'll be able to catch fish and so will I be able to catch fish. Hoping that the rain that we had the last couple of days doesn't shut the fishing down, but this cloud cover is giving me good hopes, so we'll see. Stay tuned. We're going to get the GoPro on and start fishing. All right, guys, just started a timer for two hours. That is going to be the time limit on today's challenge, and we'll see if we catch anything. This whole area here, Gracie, is really, really shallow until you get to that dock. And from that dock to the dam is the best fishing. Mm -hmm. And then also from that tree up is the best fishing, but I think we should start over here. All right, guys, so we made it over to this dock with Gracie. We're gonna start from here and fish all the way to the dam. Where do you wanna fish first? The dock. Okay, you're gonna fish off the dock. I'm gonna move over here. First cast with this red lipless crankbait. I'm gonna fish it how I was fishing last time. Just slow retrieve and then pausing it and letting it sink down to the bottom and ripping it through the grass. So hopefully I can catch a fish pretty quickly on this and take a quick lead. All right, guys, first cast. Bomb of a cast right in front of Gracie. That's perfect competition. Can't believe she even agreed to the habanero. I will say this though, last time we fished together at Lake Norman, Gracie kicked my butt. She caught like two fish right back to back and I didn't catch anything, so. Hopefully that'll change today and she can catch something. Let's sneak right behind Gracie and catch her first bass of the day. Gracie is going with the no crap talk strategy. So it's an interesting strategy. He's not getting in my head at all. Gracie uh, thought she had a really bad knot, but <laughs> magically came undone again. 
experienced fishermen, our experienced untanglers. Good job, Gracie. You brought me right to your spot. Now I'm going to catch a fish. Not on that lure. If you keep hooking grass and you feel the grass, Gracie, yeah. give it one of these uh -huh. and that'll rip it through the grass and sometimes it makes the fish bite. Uh -huh. Their reaction strike it. Yeah, that's a good thing with these kinds of baits. Oh my gosh, look at that, guys. Back to back. How did you even accomplish that? Uh-oh. I, I don't know. Whoever rigged my line must have oh, been yeah. had ulterior motives. Oh, yeah, for sure. I sabotage. Because this is exactly what I wanted to do during my two hours. This one looks a little more complicated than what you just did. I'm going to give you a push button rod, Gracie. That way you can't possibly tangle it. So the reason that's happening is because when you reel your line in on this, mm -hmm. you're reeling in slack line and this line twists and bends over and gets all twisted up in the reel. So what you want to do with this kind of reel is cast it, you hold it tight like this uh -huh. and reel it in until the line's taut and then you should be good to go. You gotta watch with these reels because they're spinning. They twist a lot, so you don't wanna make the line too twisted. All right, guys, I'm gonna make a cast along this dam and see if this is where the fish are hanging out. So far, it has been very slow. Neither Gracie or I have caught a fish. Oh my God, that's a first. I just hooked the fence and lost my lure. All right, well, I guess I gotta go over there and freaking get my lure back. Look at that, guys. Freaking right on the fence. That's a first. All right, you ready to switch lures? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's fine. All right, guys, we're gonna switch baits. Haven't had any luck on the lipless crankbait, so Gracie made a fatal mistake where she chose two lipless crankbaits. What bait do you want to choose? Um, I'll choose the not lipless crankbait. Okay, bait. so you want the swim jig? I'm gonna use the flat-sided square bill, and we'll see if that does any better than the lipless crankbaits. Again, changing strategies from what Gracie's using, and this will really tell the difference between who's gonna eat the habanero or not. All right, guys, quick check-in. We're about 45 minutes into the challenge and we haven't even gotten a single bite. So we decided to switch lures. Gracie has the swim jig on. I put on the flat sided crankbait. We'll see if that thing works and we're gonna keep fishing and we're gonna start this timer off and we'll see if we can catch anything else. Keep getting a bunch of grass guys. So I'm gonna actually go over to the dock to where I can get out past the grass and then We'll see if we can catch anything off of that. Overall, this challenge has been very, very hard. Two hard baits that Gracie has, the two lipless crankbaits, don't seem to be working today. So she is stuck using a swim jig, which is not necessarily a wintertime bait. And then I am using this square bill, hoping that I can just pick off a reaction strike. So I think if anyone catches one fish, that's gonna be the winner. Could be a last minute fish too. Would love to win it on a six incher. Again, Gracie really made it challenging for me and she gave herself an advantage thinking the lipless crankbaits were gonna work, but I guess they don't. I think if I keep my rod tip up, I can keep it out of the grass. All right, I, got, I think it's time to go over to the other side of the pond and try our luck there because it's not happening over here. All right, guys, 15 minutes left in the challenge. We have both red lipless crankbaits tied on. It is now the final quarter of this challenge. We're gonna go over to the last spot, which is a very high percentage spot. And we're gonna see if we can catch any fish. So again, guys, could be a last minute bite and hopefully that will help us win. Help me win, I don't wanna eat that pepper. The sun is coming out, so it could potentially be a good sign for the fishing. Let's get this timer restarted and hopefully that person isn't going into our spot. See if we can catch a fish. Last minute guys, last 15 minutes of the challenge. We're in a deep spot, one of the deepest spots we fished all day. We're gonna hopefully catch something. Surprised Gracie didn't go for the first cast. Uh-oh, 1v1 snag. That was smart. Let's see if we can get her out. 
Oh my gosh. All right, let's check the timer. How much time we got left? Six minutes. Uh-oh. We're re-rigged, guys. See if we can get a last minute fish here. Make it interesting. Ooh, sun's literally just coming out. Are you kidding? What? The sun's like coming out now. Yeah, the sun comes out as soon as the challenge ends. Right in time for the last fish catch. He wants a bobber. You gotta go in and get it, Tony. Uh oh, Tony, that is not a smart idea. It is not looking great, guys, for this challenge. Gracie refuses to give up. Come on, Bass. There's got to be one in here. Yeah, literally like one dink. Oh, that's it. You can retrieve this last cast. No fish? Oh, and a tangle. Oh my gosh, sabotage. All right, guys, we made it back to the car. Two hours, no fish. However, challenge isn't over. We're gonna do a sudden death overtime and we're gonna use the same baits. But this time, I'm gonna pick the baits, a bait that I think will work in this pond during the winter time. Let's get those baits on. I'll show you once they're tied on and we'll start the 30 minute overtime timer. Hopefully, one of us catches a fish. Gracie and I are both gonna throw the Shaky head worm in overtime. We'll see if we can catch a fish because the stakes are high. As soon as Gracie's ready, I'm going to start the timer and hopefully one of us catches a fish. All right, guys, 30 minute timer is starts now. 1v1, Gracie versus Jake. Let's see if we can catch one. Gracie's making an interesting strategy going over there. I'm going to go over to this dock over here. We're going to separate, so who knows? We'll see guys, I'm burning up about two minutes of overtime just to get over to the spot. But I know the fish in the winter hang out here. My first cast in overtime is gonna be right next to this wooden structure here. Bass could be shallow. Sometimes in the winter they get shallow. Again, sudden death too guys. So whoever catches the fish first is the one that reigns supreme. Overtime stops the first fish that is caught. So Gracie is really ballsy by going over to that spot, but I think she liked it. I remember seeing a dink along the bank earlier, and now I wonder if I cast it close to the bank, I could possibly catch a dink. We didn't have a size limit for this challenge, so I think this is right where I saw that dink. So we'll see if he wants to eat the shaky head. That would be a great way to beat Gracie in this challenge if I caught a six-incher. Last cast. Timer is up. Okay, guys. We're going to count the last cast if we hook anything on these casts. All right. That's it for me. All right, guys. That is going to wrap up the video. Unfortunately, the challenge was a complete failure. We fished for like two and a half hours. Didn't catch a single fish. No one's eating the habanero. But, but anyways, guys, if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you next time.